Nancy Pelosi given top award from hospital lobbyists as a thank you for blocking health care reforms. This is America and that tracks. A top lobbying group for hospitals on Monday gave Rep Nancy Pelosi an award for her incredible efforts in advancing health care. After the former House Speaker spent the past four years fulfilling the industry's top legislative priority, blocking consideration of Medicare for all or any other major reforms to the insurance based health care system. While the American Hospital Association says it's dedicated to providing high quality care to all patients, the lobbying group actually serves the financial interests of its hospital chain members, which profit immensely from the country's private insurance system. The lever was denied access to the award ceremony event at the AHA's annual meeting at the Marriott Marquis in downtown Washington Monday evening. When our researcher arrived at the event, an AHA staffer said he would connect him with the communications representative. But instead, a hotel manager then approached and threatened to have the researcher arrested if he did not leave because he had not registered earlier for the event. Nothing to see here, but you will go to jail if you try to see it. So <laughs> that's not suspicious at all. The AHA, which raised $129 million in 2021, is a powerful Washington lobbying operation that represents large hospital chains like Common Spirit Health, Ascension, and Tenet Healthcare. Hospitals are a key driver of exorbitant health care costs in the US. While hospitals often criticize the health insurance industry for wrongfully denying patients claims and creating financial barriers to care, hospital lobbyists work hand in hand with insurers to preserve our insurance based health care system. That's because private health insurers pay hospitals significantly more than they receive from the government run Medicare program. The AHA is a part of a healthcare industry coalition made up of insurers, pharmaceutical firms, and hospital companies that spent $81 million from 2018 to 21 on a TV and lobbying campaign opposing Medicare for All, which would create a comprehensive universal healthcare system and eliminate the need for private insurance. The coalition also fought more limited proposed reforms like a public health insurance plan and efforts to lower the Medicare eligibility age from 65 years. Years. And look, you can debate whether it would remove all need for private insurance. I personally think that Medicare for all who want it, that's my personal opinion, is a better solution because I think you should be able to sometimes opt to find better health care, but to not be able to give people that option, I think is insane. And of course, when Pelosi spoke at the AHA's annual meeting in 2019, the organization's top lobbyist, Tom Nichols, predicted that Pelosi would work to block Medicare for all legislation supported by most progressives in order to protect moderate Democrats in swing districts. Quote, she's trying to thread the needle here and she understands the difficulty that Medicare for all will provide for her caucus and for some of her members who have to go get reelected, Nichols said. And my guess is she's gonna be pretty adept in making sure that nothing comes up that harms her members. He was right. In the four years that Pelosi was then speaker again, the first two with a Republican Senate and President, followed by two years where Democrats had a governing trifecta, the House never held a vote on Medicare for all legislation. House Democrats additionally never voted on any legislation to create a public option or a government run health insurance plan as the party and President Joe Biden had pledged they would do during the 2020 election or on any bill to lower the Medicare age. Instead, Democrats used the first two years of the Biden administration to put more Americans on private health insurance plans, further enriching health insurers. They did so by expanding subsidies available for individual marketplace plans, plagued with high out of pocket costs and routine claim denials. On Monday, Pelosi received the AHA's 2023 Award of Honor, which it gives to individuals or organizations in recognition of exemplary contributions to the health and well being of our nation through leadership on major health policy or social initiatives. They praised Pelosi for her role in passing the Affordable Care Act, the Democrats' 2010 health care law, as well as passing a limited drug reform measure that the party passed last year, allowing Medicare to negotiate prescription drug prices on a handful of drugs for the first time. Again, showing you how insanely broken our government is. Only last year, did they win the ability to negotiate when they are the biggest buyer of health care and drugs from these private companies? They finally on a small limited amount of drugs can just say, can we talk about that price? Yeah, that, that shows you how bought our government is, 100% bought by these guys giving Nancy Pelosi 
uh, all these awards. And you'll never hear that in mainstream media because mainstream media is the corruption. So it's an absolute outrage. That, that particular law, by the way, that they all call historic and oh my God, they're limiting drug prices. Affects less than 1% of drugs. It protects over 99% of drugs from ever having prices <laughs> negotiated. Uh, and, and so we're all gonna pay these outrageously high costs that no other country uh, pays. Why? Because all of our politicians are crooks. Nancy Pelosi is getting an award for a lifetime achievement of crookery. She's, uh, and they're like, oh, congratulations on killing all the healthcare reform that we didn't want because it would have hurt our profits. We really appreciate you. So way to protect 99% of drug prices and the way we gouge Americans and we steal money from them. And by the way, about 60,000 of them or so die every year because they don't have health insurers. And that's because we kicked them off of health insurers because they couldn't afford the profits that we were wanting to make. Good job, Nancy Pelosi. And then what they, they all go and kiss her ass, everyone in mainstream media. Oh my God, Nancy Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi, she's so great. Joe Biden said he was gonna do public option. Nancy Pelosi said they were gonna do public option. Liars, they were lying the whole time, didn't even try it. Not for one second did they propose it. They're such enormous liars. And everybody in mainstream media is like, oh, Nancy Pelosi, master legislator. Well, okay, here, let's take her out of order for one second. She said she was gonna do the public option along with Joe Biden. Why didn't she even put it up for a vote? How come a master legislator doesn't know for a bill to pass? You have to propose it. You have to introduce it in Congress. Because the wouldn't, Speaker of the House not know that? Because she wouldn't have gotten the award, Jink. She wants exactly. the award. Her top uh, health care policy advisor, policy advisors, Wendell Primus, he got a lifetime achievement award from the same group, AHA. Then the medical association is like, man, you are an excellent crook. They gave him another lifetime award. They're getting lifetime awards from all the lobbyists. These are lobbyists. They're not doctors, they're lobbyists. And they're like, oh man, for being the most wonderful corrupt politician. And then pretending you're the good guy. The Republicans, everybody knows they're the bad guys. But Democrats, man, way to play good cop. Because we need good cop for bad cop to win, okay? So, but what's interesting though, remember corporate media isn't just mainstream media. It's also right wing media. They, they're also doing their own version of good cop, bad cop. So they'll criticize Nancy Pelosi over the dumbest things, right? And they'll say, "Oh, Nancy Pelosi's trying to control all of our lives. She's not trying to control all of our lives. She's giving our control over 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 our lives to corporate donors. <laughs> like she's selling it at an open auction, at like a flea market, right? But no, that's not the issue with Nancy Pelosi. The issue is this. And remember, Fox News is pretending to be populist, pretend, pretending to drain the swamp. Oh, we don't like those lobbyists." These lobbyists are giving awards to her like they're, they're handing out candy. And yet Fox News and none of the right wing media criticize Nancy Pelosi for this. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? I mean, look at us bashing Nancy Pelosi even though we're on the left. But right wing media can't figure out, Oh, she's raised a billion dollars, a billion dollars in bribes. Well, they can't criticize her because Karl Rove was speaking at the event exactly. along with David Axelrod. Exactly, all the crooks are in the same place. And we weren't able to see the speech, but one can assume it was a very Sally Field-esque acceptance speech from Pelosi that went something like, we like Americans being sick. We really like Americans being sick. And, and, and you like me, lobbyists really like me. And by the way, there's a bunch of reporters in the room, the, the Axios guys are there, tons of mainstream media reporters, the Lever reporter, who they think might actually report the facts, nearly gets arrested. It gets escorted from the building. They're like, no real journalists allowed, only the fake journalists, come on in right away. And now you're all gonna write, she's a master legislator, right? And you're none of you are gonna talk about the bribes, right? Uh, yes, sir, absolutely, sir. And then they get invited in and the real reporter nearly gets arrested. Welcome to America. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.